We are making a 100% vegetarian slash vegan friendly wachi stew, which is a variation of tomato stew typically served with wachi, the Ghanaian version of rice and beans. It is rich, delicious, and full of complex flavor. Let's get into the recipe. We will start by cooking down our tomato mixture. I am blending about five tomatoes and one red bell pepper. Ideally, I would just be blending tomatoes because Ghanaian red stews are mainly tomato based, but since tomatoes were not fully in season, I'm adding a red bell pepper for added sweetness. Once I blended everything, I place it in a pot and cook at medium to high heat to cook out as much water as possible and concentrate the tomato puree and flavor. This also cuts down on the cooking time and the splattering of the stew. While it was cooking, I also added a dash of baking soda to neutralize the acidity of the stew and just retain the sweetness from the tomatoes and red bell pepper. While the tomato mixture was cooking, I moved on to the next step, which was making the mushroom broth. When I'm usually just making regular tomato stew, I don't use mushroom broth, but this mushroom broth adds added flavor that is needed for this wache stew. I added a mixture of both dry and fresh mushrooms, as well as a small paste of onion, garlic, ginger, and some spices, and just enough water to cover the mushrooms. We want a very concentrated broth. The mushrooms I'm using here, we have some dried shiitake mushrooms that I get from the Chinese store and also king oyster mushrooms that I have cut into chunks. I find that the king oyster mushroom, although fresh, can cook for a very long time, so I just add it in first. As the broth was cooking, I added my softest fresh mushrooms, which was oyster mushroom, because they don't need as much time to cook and overcooking them can just make them really soggy. When the dried mushrooms had properly hydrated and all the mushrooms were fully cooked, I removed all the mushrooms from the broth, made sure to squeeze out extra broth from the mushrooms, and then just kept the broth on the side and and once we had our broth it was time to move on to the stew This recipe does require a decent amount of oil, so please do bear with me. This is a special type of tomato stew. First, I fried the mushrooms that I used for my broth till they were crispy inside. Again, make sure to squeeze as much of the broth out. Otherwise, when you're frying the mushrooms, it's not gonna fry. All the water is just gonna seep out of the mushrooms and it's just going to steam in the oil and it's just not a good idea. Once the mushrooms were nice and crispy, I also fried some tofu in the same oil till they were crispy. I didn't season the tofu beforehand because I didn't want the spices to burn in the oil. I also did not boil it in the broth because tofu would just absorb all the water and if I squeeze it out, that would just defeat the purpose. So I fried my tofu till it was nice and crispy and then I set that aside. Then I also fried some onions that I had chopped thinly and I fried it till they were nice and brown and then I removed that. Actually, the fried onions were actually added in a blender with some fresh onions, some scotch bonnet pepper, ginger and garlic so that it added extra flavor to this fresh onion mixture. Everything was blended and returned to the oil to fry.
I fried the onion mixture in the oil for about five minutes. Then I added in the tomato paste. I gave the tomato paste a good fry for about five to 10 minutes. Then in went the tomato sauce that we had started cooking at the beginning. So the tomato sauce cooked for about 30 minutes. I evaporated basically 90% of the water. When I added the tomato sauce into the actual stew and covered it, it was not splattering as much and I just could focus on building the flavor. I let the tomato incorporate in the stew for about 15 minutes. Then I added in my seasoning. I started by pouring in the broth that we made, which was just concentrated with a ton of flavor, something I forgot to mention is that the broth also had some bouillon cube so I wasn't starting the broth from scratch. I also added in some homemade all-purpose seasoning as well as some homemade all-purpose Ghanaian seasoning mix. I've shared the recipe for the seasoning mix in my previous video and I will link it in the description below. I incorporated my seasoning well and then I added in my fried accoutrement so the fried mushrooms and the tofu that we fried before we started making the stew. I mixed everything in and I let it all cook for another 15 minutes at medium low heat so that all the flavors will melt together. I checked it periodically and then I just let it cook till the oil separates to the top and the stew looks like it's frying. This is where you know that the stew was ready. This recipe does involve a lot more attention but again it is a special stew so it demands special treatment. The stew is made specifically for wache but honestly you can eat it with white rice. It works perfectly too. I make these in a big batch because then I can put it in the freezer and thaw it when I need it. So that is the recipe for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please check the description box below for all the recipes I have mentioned in this video. Leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more plant-based West African dishes, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!